Now, Meta just released Code Llama 70B as part of their Code Llama collection of models that are still the best models for code generation tasks. Now, straight off the bat, the model outcompetes GPT-4 on the Human Eval benchmark for coding tasks. So over here on this table under the Human Eval, GPT-4 reported a performance of 67%. Down at the bottom over here under the Code Llama section, the 70 billion parameter model actually scores 67.8%, so slightly better than GPT-4 in that regard. It's quite clear that the Code Llama models are not to be taken lightly. So for instance, Find, which is widely considered the best code generation model, is simply a fine-tuned version of the Code Llama 34 billion parameter model that was released in November last year. Now at the time of its release, it significantly outperformed the latest GPT-4 version at that time. And I still find that Find.com, which is simply an alternative to ChatGPT for coding, is still better than ChatGPT4 when it comes to coding tasks in particular. And they use a newer version of the original fine model which I think currently is version 8 but it's still simply an instruction fine-tuned version of the original Code Llama 34 billion parameter model. So it's quite clear that these open source models can outcompete even the very best proprietary models, even ChatGPT. I believe the new 70 billion parameter model is going to be a huge stepping stone to changing the way we use these models, particularly the open source models. Let's take a look at everything this model can do and particularly the license around it which is free and open source yes but also has some pretty interesting caveats to it for anybody that's planning to download and use this particular model. So Meta announces the 70 billion parameter model today in three different versions. So first the Code Llama 70B foundational model which is simply a text completion model. So this one is not like the instruction following models in ChatGPT. This is simply a step behind that. Then the Code Llama 70B Python model which is specialized for Python and is trained from the best model using 100 100 billion tokens of Python code, followed by 20 billion tokens for fine tuning training. And then finally, the one that everybody should be excited about Code Llama 70B Instruct 70B, which is fine tuned for understanding natural language instructions. So, once again, from the best version, it's trained on 20 billion tokens of long context fine tuning, and then finally, 5 billion tokens for instruction following. So, this one here is sort of the direct competitor with ChatGPT. So, over here, they're just saying today we are releasing Code Llama, a large language model that uses text prompts to generate code. Code Llama is the state of the art for publicly available free open source models, which this part here is really, really true. And they say it's released under the same community license as Llama 2, which again, this license is open source, but does have a really interesting caveat to it. This is the licensing page, which is quite interesting to look at. I will leave this linked in the very fast pinned comment. And most of it is free and open source, but over here under the additional commercial terms, they do say that if you're using this with over 700 million active users in the preceding preceding calendar month, you must request a new license from Meta. So that's just an interesting caveat that's included in this license. Now downloading the model is super easy. All you really need to do is head over to the bottom of this page, which once again, I will leave a link for that and simply select download the Code Llama model. This will take you to this page that requests some of your personal information, nothing too crazy. But once you're done with that, you can go ahead and read the terms and conditions over here and then simply accept them and hit accept and continue. And in no time, Meta will send you an email with a license to download the models. Now, now, inferring and training on the models is slightly more complicated as you will need a really powerful GPU to do that. But over here on Cyclog, they do suggest that you need at least 32 GB of RAM to infer and train the 70 billion parameter models. Now, this is well within the ballpark of the NVIDIA H100 80GB PCIe 80GB GPU, which you can access using a RunPod setup. So I will leave the link to RunPods in the description. So what does this mean for code generation LLMs going forward? Now, there's people out there that have clearly stated that these free open source models are going to clearly outcompete any closed source proprietary model. Now, I can't be too sure about this considering the new systems of inferencing that are coming out in GPT-5, but at least for the current generation of LLMs, we definitely are going to see a shift where these free open source models are going to become significantly better than these closed source proprietary models. Now, I'm quite interested in hearing exactly what you guys are going to use going forward. So I've gone ahead and left a poll for this under this video. Now, I personally still have a GPT Plus subscription but I do use Find and Dipsy Coder a lot more when it comes to coding tasks. But again, like I said, I am quite interested in hearing exactly what you guys are using in both the comment section and the poll that I will leave under this video. Thanks a bunch for watching. Hopefully this video has been super informative. I massively, massively appreciate it when you guys subscribe to this channel. So make sure you scroll down right now and hit that subscribe button to help us reach our 1000 subscriber goal by the end of this month. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.